Welcome to my channel. This video is on diagnosis of fish diseases. Disease in fish. Sometimes there may be an outbreak in a fish farm or sickness in an individual fish. These diseases are as a result of infestation by pathogens, adverse culture condition or nutritional deficiency. The pathogens are introduced into the pond from the external via water, food and vectors such as snails. Diagnosis Diagnosis of fish diseases is an important part in establishing disease cause, control and management of fish diseases. It is important for fish farmers to know the natural behavior of their fish species for easy detection of abnormality. This will help distinguish between a fish behavior and a real symptom. Common Diagnostic Features Common Diagnostic Features 1. Abnormal Swimming Swimming in Cycles Moving with a Drift Sinking to the Bottom Swimming Upside Down 2. Respiration and Gill Ulceration Gasping and Labored Breathing Pale Gills most fishes have bright pink gills. Cont diagnostic features. 3. Anorexia. Occurs when fish stop eating, could be due to constipation. 4. Body shapes and contours. Check for swellings, torn or clamped fins, could be due to parasitic infection or constipation. 5. Color alteration. Sick or stressed fish will look less vibrant. 6. Cysts, sores and blood stains. Abnormal swimming. The fish swim in cycles or simply drift with a current. It may float on the surface unable to swim any further down. It may swim to the bottom and unable to raise itself. It may swim upside down with the abdomen facing up that may be as a result of air in the stomach. Respiration and gill ulceration. The fish appears to be gasping for breath. Gill sheets that lose their normal color is a warning sign. Healthy fish have bright pink gills with a few exceptions. The cause could either be improper aquarium condition or a disease in fish. Increased duration and frequent changes should be done. If there is no improvement then the fish could be having a disease. Anorexia this is evidenced by extreme avoidance of food either completely or taking much less food than normal. Fish may also take food into the mouth then spit it out. It is important to know the normal feeding characteristics of your fish species that is mouth brooders avoid food during brooding. Anorexia can be caused by constipation especially in fish that are laterally compressed, improper living conditions, improper diet or a disease. In some cases it's normal and will go away on its own. Slight increase in water temperature might fix the problem. Body shape and contours. It is important to understand the normal body shape and appearance of your fish. This may help in identifying changes that may occur such as body shape, torn fin, clamped fins. Note that a swollen abdomen in gravid female may be because of eggs or may be pregnant. It may be constipation, internal parasites or bacterial infection. Coloration Dull color is an indication of sick or fish under stress. It may also be an indication of poor pond conditions. It's important to note that dampening of fish color is sometimes normal for example for a male fish to avoid fighting with a dominant male and also for a female during spawning. Cysts, sores and blood stains Skin diseases in fish appear as cysts, spots, slime, patches of abnormal color and sores. They may be caused by parasites, fungus, viral and also bacterial infections. The fish may be seen scratching on rocks and pond walls. This symptoms may also be an indicator of deteriorating pond conditions. Thanks for watching. Like this video and subscribe to this channel to get updates for videos like this.